So you look at collective schemes, collect monies from individuals, it's put in a pool, invested by the farm manager according to the policy, what you know, I call the investment policy guidelines as to where to invest money. And then as they invest money day in, day out, they generate returns and these returns are passed on to investors or those who are actually owning shares or units of that particular scheme. And in return for putting your money there, you get a portion of the assets of the particular funds on pro rata basis. It depends on the amount you put in over there. The more you put in over there, the more you can really make money. And then also, as you invest in such vehicles, you are beneficiary owners, though not legal owners, in the sense that whatever fund they buy, the certificates are in the name of the fund. But then because you have certificates or units for that particular fund, you share in the assets of the fund. And then also the sponsor or fund manager or the promoter, there's a fee that's charged for managing the assets. And this will be very clear in the prospectus, the document that spells out how the fund will operate. And like in Ghana, they will operate as either a mutual fund or a unit trust. Now, this is how they work pictorially. So you can see investors over there, they put their money in their pool, it goes into a bank account. The fund manager then invests the funds into securities. It's depending on the guidelines for that particular fund. It could be government securities, it could be bonds, it could be bills, it could be shares. And then as they generate returns, the returns are passed on to the investors and the cycle continues. As long as the fund is running, it continues. Whether there's a holiday or no holiday, returns are being earned on the portfolio. Now let's see how they actually earn the returns from all sources. So from dividends, if they bought some shares and dividends are paid, it will go into the fund and then it's shared among investors in the fund. If they are what we call fixed income in the instruments like corporate bonds or treasury bills or government bonds, they pay coupons, they go into the fund and then it's shared among members. That's one way. The other way is that as the funds are being managed, if it should happen that maybe the opportunities we sell some of the securities, we bought it at 10 CDs, it's now 12 CDs, we sell it and then we make a gain. Two CDs, it goes back into the fund and then it's shared among investors. Or if you don't even sell it and then day in and day out, because you bought very good securities, they are appreciated, it also goes into add to it. And I'll say that the regulator requires that you do a daily valuation because day in people are coming in and out. So it's absolutely vital that valuation is done on a daily basis to ensure that at least the appropriate returns are approved on investor accounts. 